To find out if the library has access to a journal article, first you need to check the library catalogue for the journal itself, so searching the library catalogue for the journal title. You can link to library catalogue from the university portal over here in the left hand menu. I'm looking for the journal with the title Annual Review of Physiology. If it's a long title you don't need to type the whole thing. And then because I know I'm looking for journals, I can choose journals from the drop down menu option and I'm only searching journal titles. You can see I've found two matching results in the library catalogue. The first result here, Annual Review of Physiology, is to the paper copy of the journal. So I'll have a quick look at this. This tells you that we have the journal in the library, shelved in Journals X, X for Biology, in the Biology Journals. And it tells you what volumes and years of the journal the library has. So we have from 1960, Volume 22, up to 2012, the most recent volume. I'm going to return to my list of results and look at the second result here and you can see that this is the electronic version of the journal. I'm going to look at this record and the catalogue tells you which particular years of the journal we have access to electronically. So we have from 1996 to present. I've linked to the journal itself so the next thing I need to do is browse the journal to find the particular year, volume, issue and page numbers of the article that I'm interested in. Each of the journal websites will look slightly different, but it's normally the same sort of process, browsing through different volumes and issues to find your article. So my article was in the year 2000, so I'm going to look at volume 62 from the year 2000 in more detail. So this is a table of contents for that volume. My article was on Page 919 is called A Century of Thinking About Cell Membranes, so I'm just going to browse down the list until I get to those page numbers. So here's the article I'm interested in, A Century of Thinking About Cell Membranes. Here's the details about the article. And normally I'm looking for the PDF link to see the full text of the article, so I'm going to select the PDF link. This is the article, the full text. And from the PDF, I can choose to print or to save the full text PDF file. I'm just going to go back to the brief details of the article page. Often on a website, there's an option to download the citation itself, the reference, into RefWorks. So it might say something like download or export citation, export reference, something like that. Look for that kind of link. On this page, you can see that I can choose which particular software to download the reference to. So I'm going to select RefWorks and download. So this will download the reference for that particular article into my RefWorks database. Now I already had the RefWorks database open. So I'm going to switch to RefWorks, view the last imported folder and here's the reference. As before, I want to save the reference in the folder for this practical. So I can select the reference by ticking the box next to it and drag it into the folder. You can see in the reference it now tells me it's in that folder.